Hey guys, this is Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment. I want to run you through the new Valmar ISO uh, control module that uh, we're putting on a lot of these Valmar products for running the, the meters on them. And uh, this is a new rate controller that works really slick. So let's take a quick minute to run through this. That way you can uh, just YouTube this video and troubleshoot from the cab of your tractor. So, Real quick, I wanted to show you the buttons and what everything does on this home screen. This is what you will see when you plug in your ISO port to the back of your tractor and runs in through your 2630 or whatever it is. So this right here is your target rate. I will show you how to change that here shortly. And this is your actual rate as you're driving through the field. I am not moving as you can see because my speed is zero. So therefore, I'm not putting on any cover crop. So it's zero. This is my meter speed, this is my fan speed. All of those should have a number to them when you're driving through the field and your master switch is on. That being said, this is your master switch, this power button right here. If you notice, that off turns to on when you hit it. Nothing will happen unless your master switch is on. Keep that in mind. If I pull ahead right now and try to seed, nothing will happen So my master switch is off. This is your product button. You'll use this one quite a bit. It's the arrow going into the hopper. Right now, my product is cover crops. You can choose from up to, I think, 25 different products. And I can rename this. I, I can name every product that I do and save it. Um, right here, it shows my desired density and target rate for this uh, particular product. And I'll show you here how to change your target rate and density. That will be in this settings tab, which is your gear. I've got my product selected because that's what I picked over in my product page. But I can change my target rate right here. Let's say we want to do a 45 and it has a density of 50. I change that there and now we can go into a calibration. Calibration is settings, hopper. So I have to enter a mass that I want it to spit out back there. And I type in a speed that I would typically travel. So I'm, it's gonna spit out five pounds. And as you can see, I hit the play button and it is currently metering out five pounds right now. And my catch tray should be under the hopper so I can catch it because I've got away this product yet once it's finished. There it's done, now it wants me to enter the amount. Let's say everything went really well and it spit out five pounds. We're good to go, it, we are calibrated. So now we're ready to hit the field. This road button, that's basically if you pull out on the road, just hit that button, that basically locks everything on the seater. That way you aren't potentially seating when you jump out onto the road. That's really the gist of everything. This monitor is pretty simple. Go in here, set up your products, go into this gearbox to calibrate and change your product density and your desired target rate. I changed my target rate to 45, it shows up there, and that's what I should be moving, or that's what I should be seating when I'm going through the field. So. That's the gist of it. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call, 419-953-8500, or search <coughs> some other videos and, and see what you can find. But uh, usually just give us a call and we can help you out. Thanks for tuning in.